your family, but some things you can't never come back from. No one can stop me. This new ghost ain't got nothing to do with us. So he gotta go. Tommy, I'm leaving you behind. You get everything you want, and I got nothing. I got nothing! You chose have nothing, man! TV right now, hands down, power in the building. I got two very talented actors from that show, Mr. Michael Dopu, who plays Jason, and my main man, Joseph Sakura, who plays mm -hmm. Tommy, Team Tommy. What's up, fellas? What's good, Leon? <laughs> oh, how does it feel to be a part of iconic history? Because I put power right up there with the wires and the sopranos of the world yeah i think that the power is a, an incredible show that has impacted the culture culture american culture and therefore world culture and be part of that i'm de it's definitely an honor yeah mike you you play man, you underhanded man your, your character is straight shady and, yeah. and pulling power moves and from chicago and, uh, from chicago you are, yeah. right so so when when playing that character what do you use to get into that mode because you've done a lot of things i remember you from rollerball that's yeah. one of my favorite movies but when you when you uh get into that character like what do you use to study to become this ruthless drug lord uh you know just the Bit of homework, uh, do some research on, on these gangsters or these criminal people. But also, I grew up in that environment somewhat, so just draw on some people I know, and I'm Serbian as well, so that okay. helps. Yeah. And uh, and then just try to be real. It's about being real as an actor. Like we always say, these actors, these people, these characters are human, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So. Do you do you guys get cussed out on the street? Like people see you, like goddamn you, Tommy, uh, Jason, you mother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Tommy's kind of the people's champ, so I get to do okay. a lot of positivity. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the, anybody who's negative, you, it, like if you're gonna believe the positive, you gotta believe the negative. So you just show up, you do the work, you do the best job possible, and you make the best decisions once they call action. You're a father, so, and, and when you talk to your children, do you, you let them know, like, you let them, are, are they old enough to understand? Because I do stand-up comedy. A lot of stuff I say on stage, that's <laughs> kind of my daughter's like, hey, you know you're dead. <laughs> I don't want y'all to strip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How does that work? Um, oh, yeah. I mean, my son watches it. He's 15. I've okay. let him watch the show. So he gets it. He's really into it. Uh, he's loves, in love with this guy right, right here. Loves his character and loves Joe. He knows Joe very mm -hmm. well. Um, it's a good kid. He's, and uh, so I just try to tell you, they know. He knows that, obviously, that I'm not a gangster and I don't kill people for real. So he gets it. But my daughter, every once in a while, I explain to her that, you know, what I do is just acting, right? It's not anything else. It's just, she goes, I get it, Dad. Yeah. I think I got it. Hey, it yeah. makes Christmas a little bit nicer. Yes. That's why we do exactly. It's not cancer. Right? <laughs> so you've been from the south, uh, north side of Chicago. Mm -hmm. You've seen a lot here. So when you take what you've seen here and what's going on here in the city, uh, how is you as Joseph Sakura, the actor outside of Tommy, when you come home, do you speak on that to some of the young guys out here? Because, you know, some of the guys might look at you on TV and idolize the character Tommy, mm -hmm. but don't understand you got a background from here, too, where you could speak on that and, and deter them from that lifestyle. Yeah, I think that the show at least shows there are consequences for your actions. Now, granted, it's a fantastical take on it, and it's not quite as real as The Wire is. It's a, it's a fantasy version of New York City mm -hmm. and of drug dealing. That doesn't mean it glorifies it. Right. It means that it shows it in a slightly different version of the reality, but it does show real effects of turning on your family, of not being loyal, of being in um, a, 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 an urban subculture. Mm -hmm. And I do know about being in an urban subculture and have been for you know m most of my life, so I'm able to draw on that. Also being um, an amateur boxer in the park districts and going to all of the different neighbors neighborhoods, being a graffiti writer and going through all of the different neighborhoods. My father's parish of St. Killian's Parish at 87th St. in May. St. Killian's. Uh, you know, in, in Auburn, We Grisham, used to kick so. their ass going back. Basketball. I went to St. Margaret of Scotland. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I used to play on those courts. We used to dominate y'all in basketball. But anyway, I'm sorry. I had to get that shot in. That's all right. Capital school boy myself. All right. And Bernie Mac being at 89th and Wallace right there, too. So I remember where his parents grew up, too. But so it's a definite sense of pride in Chicago. And so I was able to draw on not only the people I was scared of growing up in the streets, but 
bring some of, of uh, the uh, street nature of Chicago and New York, where I've lived for 20 years, into play. I know you guys got a busy schedule, but can you hang out for one more second? Of course, let's Absolutely. do it. I got the juicy questions coming up next. We'll be right back. More later with Leon coming up. I got my man Mike Joseph in here. I'm in here with the gangsters, man. I'm all right. You're all right. <laughs> members from Power, Mr. Mike Dopu, and my main man, Joseph Socorro, plays Tommy, and Mike plays Jason. So, now I gotta, you know, you guys are probably taking an off-the-market, two handsome gentlemen like yourself, <laughs> you know, like myself. I, you know, I get it, you know, it's, it's tough being out here in this industry. So, Somebody's I know the it. groupies go crazy, you know, because listen, let me, let me tell you, man, the chocolate circuit love y'all. Like, my mama, <laughs> my aunties, and all my cousins, they be like, you know him? I be like, yeah, that's my man. You know, I got a lot. That's my <laughs> man. We eat steak together. Oh, my God, Tommy's so fine. How do you deal with that as a celebrity? And if you do have significant others, how do they deal with that? Because well, my wife likes to beat people up. Listen, it's all, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what they say. I mean, everything's better with chocolate. Yeah, so, okay. Um, all I'm, right, I'm, I'm all good with that. Yeah. But, and my wife is just fine with it because yeah. she knows uh, she knows that uh, you're loyal. And just like the character of Tommy is uh, you build up uh, trust. And so you earn trust. And uh, it's, it's a valuable to me, so I keep it. What about you, Mike? The same thing. My my wife gets it, and she understands the industry. But as long as I'm honest and upfront with what's happening, like if I have a love scene to do on a show, then I better let her know beforehand. Oh. She doesn't. She doesn't want to, uh, you know, find out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watching, I thought you told right, me right, you were right. just kissing. Right. You know. Well, I thought you was about to say, yeah, as long as I'm honest and upfront. Yeah, yeah. baby. I had these two scripts <laughs> last night. <laughs> I'm telling you before. One of them was out. great, one of them was, was terrible. terrible. Yeah. I thought about you. Exactly you know, the whole time. Look, so um we know that you didn't kill ghosts. Right. <laughs> it's safe right. to say Not that me. you didn't kill ghosts. No. Now, upon watching your episode, mm -hmm. uh, it's safe to say you didn't kill ghosts, but true. you are pretty wily on Instagram. You throw a lot of cryptic messages out there. Mm -hmm. So I've seen you put one post up there and you circled a couple people's faces. <laughs> do you do that to get a kick out of the rise out of the audience? Or are you just pulling people's legs? Or are you really giving us clues that if we play detective, we can figure it out? Sometimes. I make mistakes. Okay. Uh, and once, oh, you it, do the time once, once it's up there, you have to you be like, well, uh, but maybe it's somebody, it's somebody definitely whose name starts with T uh -huh. who uh, did it. Uh, maybe somebody whose name starts with something else but is in a camp of somebody whose name right. starts with T. I mean, it's it, there's twists and turns that Courtney uh, A. Kemp and Gary Lennon, our show's great show writers. runners, great writers. Yeah. So they've, they've really entertained people, and I think they took significant risks doing these back five episodes in the Rashomon style of a different perspective of the murder time. yeah so you see scenes that you see again and again and again and again in fact there's a few scenes you see every five every episode of the back five episodes but it's slightly skewed because it's from somebody else's different perspective nice. so you will find out in the final episode who shot ghost and you will find out ghost's fate whether uh, that was a fatal shot or not oh so ghost may not necessarily be who shot ghost, ghost. not ghost is dead not yeah. Ghost is dead. Not Although who we've, they report, and we've, we've heard reports we've that, heard Ghost, reports is that dead. Ghost is yeah. dead. And uh, that we've had people um, higher up than me that have stated that maybe he is dead. However, you won't find out the truth until the final episode. Or maybe he's faking his death to keep somebody from trying to he's, kill him uh, again. He's no dummy. Yeah, he could do Oh, not, Let's talk about Omari Highway, a great brother. I've met him several times. Mm -hmm. I've met a the, deep brother. The actor, yes, I was just about to say, <laughs> I met the actor, and then I met the spoken word, words. Hey, man. <laughs> he does his he thing. He does things I cannot do. When so, so how is that like when you guys lose a character on the show as a cast mm -hmm. because you know they're there your friends brotherhood sisterhood yeah. when you lose a character like you know when you when you lost him when you lost Leela like how is it is it tough on the cast members you know yeah, and even Lala I mean that yeah. scene was tough too because Lala and I became very close and I, I was just sad that I'm not going to be able to play with my friend right. in this anymore in that that relationship so in the scene was and she uh, did a great job she was great yeah. yeah big ups to uh, yeah. Lala Anthony 
but Omari Hardwick became, obviously, we became so, so, such close friends during this that in the scene where I'm cradling Ghost's head and saying my final goodbyes, that was easy that to was play real. those emotions yeah. because you're really saying goodbye to a lot of different things. I mean, and then to lose Mike was, yeah. was tough, too. Uh, it was really interesting on my end because, you know, I've, I've died on other shows before, so, <laughs> but for whatever reason and the cast and crew, I, they kept telling me, don't get in the elevator, don't get in the elevator, right. you know, off, off right. the seat. Off. So it was great. And then, you know, Courtney and Gary and everybody came out when it was just uh, Omari and I, and they all came out to watch my last couple scenes of that That's day. Dope. So I thought that was very respectful. And, you know, the way they handled it was great. And to see the crew seemed kind of sad and I was that made me all sad and, and so it was yeah it was tough I was upset they let you go out on the roof like that by yourself though I wanted to see you go out like you know holding court in the streets oh Mike's a real uh, a tough man in real life and super strong and also incredibly good at the um, the, the stunt stuff right. so he, um, Omari was very lucky to have that final scene with him and that's why that scene turned out so great Mike, what you got coming up next in the future, man? Um, doing an episode of Blood and Treasure, which is on uh, CBS, and I've got a couple other projects that we're waiting on and I can't really talk about. Yeah. Tom, Tommy, we know, I mean, Joseph, we know you still there. Tommy's still holding <laughs> We know out. that Tommy's trying uh, to make will, it to will California. Will Tommy have a spinoff? I think Tommy's definitely going to try to make it to California. We'll okay, see what happens. a little something. I mean, look your boy. Give your boy a clap. Yeah, I'm going to be in the crew, man. You, you know, really I ain't no could, snitch. Dude. I know that. Like, I'm mad. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. But you're a duplicitous nation. You got you in your promo hitting a home run out of Wrigley Field. I'm I like, and I know my man is a Sox fan. <laughs> hey, we appreciate you all for stopping by one more time for Mr. Mike Dopu and my main man, Joseph Sokoro. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. You didn't have to. I'm